Hello, I'm Mio. Hello. This is an easy lesson of Clip Studio Paint. There are three main points. First, how to import and rasterize images. Second, how to merge images. Third, how to use the overlay mode. Let's import images. File, Import, Image. Click on an image from the image folder. Right click on the layer and choose Rasterize. Hold down the control key and double click on the image icon. Edit, Change Canvas Size, OK. The size of the canvas has been changed. Deselect. Import the second image in the same way. File, Import, Image. Rasterize. Two images have now been imported. Let's paste a thatched house onto the countryside landscape. Use Polyline Continuous Curve Quadratic Bezier to enclose the area needed. Delete Outside Selection. Resize the cropped image. Edit Transform Free Transform. After determining the size and position, OK. Deselect. Tick marks on the two layers. Layer. Create layer and insert layer. A layer folder is now created. Layer. Merge visible to new layer. A new layer of the thatched house is now created. Let's add simple illustration effects. Effect, Artistic. Set line density and line opacity to 65. Set line thickness and number of colors around 20. Set all the rest to 1. Adjust the tone of the picture. Edit, Tonal correction, Tone curve. In RGB, move the curve upward to lighten the picture. In green and blue, increase the green and blue tones. Let's paint the sky. Select, select color gamut. This method selects areas of the same color. If you set error margin of color to about 10 and touch the sky, the whole sky will be selected. Use the gradient tool to paint the sky yellow. Create another layer, this time with a purple gradient from bottom to top. You can control the opacity by moving the bar on the layer palette. Create a new layer and paint the clouds. We will use the brush tool watery ink, but you can use any brush you like. Draw a white cloud. On top of that, we will use a mixture of colors such as blue, green and gray. Change the opacity and brush density to add variety. Let's have fun painting. I'm going to add colors to the thatched roof. Since the sun is shining from the upper left, we will darken the shaded area of the roof. Paint brown to make it darker. Add some green. Paint the large area of the roof with green. Control the intensity of the colors by touching the opacity bar in the layers palette.
Surround the bright ginkgo tree on the right. Change the lending mode of the layer from normal to overlay. Paint the tree yellow with a brush. Next, we will surround the forest of pine trees on the left. In the same way, change the blending mode of the layer from normal to overlay. Use a brush to paint the area yellow. Control the intensity of the color by touching the opacity bar in the layers palette. The farthest forest in the distance will be surrounded in the same way and painted blue. Surround the area in the landscape with the sun shining from the upper left. Polyline, add to selection sub tool detail palette, continuous curve, quadratic bezier. Let's add the effect of the sun's rays. Set the new layer end. Change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Figure tool, straight line. Select yellow from the color wheel and draw the light radially. Create a new layer and use color orange to draw around the yellow in the same way. For both layers, change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Blend tool, blur. Blur the colors alternately on the two layers. Use the eraser tool to remove the excess color. Now you're almost done. Finally, we will use a very useful functions. Create a new layer at the top. Layer. New correction layer. Hue slash saturation slash luminosity. Moving the hue bar to the left will give the entire image a bluish tint, while moving it to the left will give it a reddish tint. If you move the saturation bar to the right, the color becomes more vivid. If you move it to the left, the color becomes more gray. Thank you for watching. This is Mio Chan. I'll see you soon.